I'm a New York City firefighter. I was down at World Trade Center for about 90 days, uh, breathing in all the toxins and all the smoke. I got diagnosed in 2003. 2003 was hard. Robert was diagnosed uh, roughly a decade ago with his lymphoma, and initially his disease responded very well to treatment. He was treated with a standard chemotherapy regimen, and that put him into remission, and he did well for several years following his initial treatment. Unfortunately, his disease came back, and when it came back, it became much more resistant to those therapies. I went through many, many, many treatments, many, 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 many types of chemo, many, many types of radiation, many, many types of getting scanned all the time. I thought I was gonna die. So lymphomas are tumors of the lymph system, and the lymph cells are like the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines. They fight infections, and they have switches that regulate their growth, the growth of those cells. And when those switches get broken, the cells accumulate, you get a growth, a tumor, and that's a lymphoma. Across the board in the United States, there are about 70,000 people a year diagnosed with lymphoma, but there are several hundred thousand people that are either living actively with lymphoma or have been cured with lymphoma after treatment. Met Dr. Leonard, biggest smile I've ever seen. I don't want a pessimist taking care of me. I don't want someone who's happy and felt very comfortable with him as my doctor. He had received a stem cell transplant uh, and really had, had very limited other options that were likely to control his disease in a meaningful way. When someone says to me that they have a new clinical trial, to me they're saying we have a new hope for you. He's on a clinical trial with a drug called Selenexor. And this is a very interesting new drug. Much of the laboratory work with this drug has been done here at Weill Cornell. Additionally, some of the early studies with this drug were performed in dogs. So it's an interesting link between clinical trials that have shown efficacy in dogs, in the laboratory, and now in patients. We're not inducing cancer in these pets. These are naturally occurring cases of cancer and treated very similarly. And so it's a great way to learn. By doing co-clinical trials, uh, you can learn a lot of things that you couldn't learn by doing trials in a single organism alone. You can learn about shared mutations that exist in both dogs and humans that might predict responses to drugs, and you can identify those more easily by comparing across species. We have a golden retriever named Skye. He's, I think, approximately 11 years old. I call him my third son. I have two boys. The swollen lymph glands was sort of one of those holy moly. His neck, they're like two baseballs and so that's what led us on the track and right into the lymphoma. I think my immediate reaction was just thinking about quality of life, we're not gonna treat this. I, I don't wanna see him lose his hair, you know, wither away. By combining studies and by treating animals and humans in a similar fashion, we have a larger number of patients that are getting treated with a new uh, treatment regimen. Cornell is really perfectly poised for this. It has both a top-notch veterinary school in Ithaca, New York, and it has world-class clinical trials and basic and translational research at Weill Cornell in human lymphoma research. It really is a win-win situation for both dogs and humans because both will benefit from the research that's going on. Our main goal is quality of life and we do everything we can to minimize side effects and with Sky, he doesn't even know that he's being treated. He comes in wagging his tail, he sits for us, he gets a biscuit at the front desk. That was only a little less than three weeks since starting therapy. It's amazing how fast they can go into remission. Even patients that are sick, we can make them feel so much better with treatment, which a lot of people don't expect. They expect, oh, you're giving chemo, my dog's already sick, she's just going to feel worse, and, and we don't see that. We're just hopeful that he continues to eat, be happy, hang out, take walks. I love it when I have to clean after I finish cooking, because that means I can do the things I did before. This is something that is in trial, that I was lucky enough to get because I have the doctors in the hospital at Weill Cornell. If I wasn't at Weill Cornell, this clinical trial would not be offered to me. I don't know where I'd be right now. So with this clinical trial, I'm here talking to you right now and with a smile on my face.